so one of the leading risk factors for getting Parkinson's disease or Lewy Bois disease or any of these, we call them synucleinopathies, is to have a mutation in a gene called GBA uh, or an enzyme called glucocerebrosidase. So I wasn't actually thinking about that when we, when originally. I was actually working in, a, I did my postdoctoral fellowship at the University of Toronto in a pediatric lysosomal biochemistry lab. And so they're working on some very sort of terrible very terrible uh, diseases which affect very young children or newborns called lysosomal storage diseases. And the lab, so this is not what I was working on, but the lab was interested in stabilizing, stabilizing a number of enzymes, again, that cause these terrible diseases. And one of the enzymes they looked at is, is glucocerebrosidase, and they were looking at it because of a terrible pediatric disease called Gaucher disease. And so they'd found, they'd actually screened 30,000 drugs uh, 30,000 compounds, they weren't all drugs, and discovered uh, a number of drugs which stabilized this enzyme, and, an, and one drug called Ambroxol, which was already approved in Europe and proven to be safe. So this was actually not my work at all, but at the same time in the literature, there were many papers coming out that having this a mutation in glucocerebrosidase actually was a main risk factor for, for Parkinson's disease versus nucleinopathies. And so the actual lab wasn't aware of this at all. And so I saw that, that they'd found something which really stabilized this enzyme. And, and again, this was a sort of sheer luck. This is a, an adult neurologist who happened to be working in a, a pediatric lab when, they, when this discovery was made. And so I said, Don, oh my God, we've got to, we've got to try this in, in Parkinson's disease. And of course, they sort of looked at me like I was crazy. And then they went back and did a, a literature search and said, oh, yeah, maybe there's something there. So that's sort of a roundabout, sort of a roundabout accidental story.